Well, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm down at um, Hearn Bay in Kent. It's probably a uh, 30 minute drive from where I am. Come down to um, the pier here at Hearn Bay. I'm right out on the, uh, the end of the pier and looking out, I don't know if you can see it on here, out towards the, I think it must be the old pier um, here at Hearn Bay. So I think for the first shot, I'm gonna get set up, get the tripod out probably get the long lens on, get the 70 to 200 and uh, probably the 10 stop filter and try and take just a real minimal long exposure of that old pier. Um, actually come down for sunset and I've probably got about um, an hour and a half maybe till sunset um, and I've, I've never done sunset here at Helm Bay so I'm a little bit unsure of uh, where to position myself, um, what to use as a focal point I've seen lots of images um, of the pier. Uh, that's probably going to be the best shot. Um, but we'll have a look. Um, I'll just get set up and we'll see what we can do with this first shot. Well, that first image was a little bit more tricky uh, than I anticipated with the 200mm lens on uh, using the two second timer two second timer wasn't enough you were still getting some uh, like jitters and obviously causing a bit of blur in the image so uh, stepped up to the 10 second timer and uh, it looks reasonably sharp on the back of the camera again you never can tell till you get back home again I've taken a couple of images one was uh, ISO 100 uh, f11 for 30 seconds and I think the the other one um, was about f 6.3, 7.1 uh, for about 13 seconds, I think. So just to try and cover my bases, see if I can get which one will be sharper on the on the computer when I get back home and uh, whichever one that is, I'll pop it up on the screen for you now and uh, put the information underneath so you know which one it was. But yeah, not a bad first image. And uh, I'm just gonna make my way around now and try and find another composition or two. Well, I have uh, walked along the seafront here at Herne Bay and I've probably got about an hour till sunset and uh, I'm just trying to work out if this is going to be the best composition. Um, there is another, I don't know whether it's a harbour, but there's an arm that goes out um, towards the pier and I think you can probably get to the end of this arm and shoot towards the pier. Now, nothing seemed to be open on that pier, so whether or not anything's going to be illuminated, I very much doubt it. Um, but it's a bit of a gamble as to whether I take the chance to go out there and set up for sunset, because I'm not sure whether I'll have enough time to walk back and find another composition. Um, as it's only half hour away, might be worth the risk, and uh, if it doesn't pan out, I'll just have to come back another day.
well, I had to walk all the way uh, to the end of the pier there, all this arm, and it is really, really close to uh, the pier itself. And I'm not sure whether or not that's the best composition because um, the sun is going to set to the right of that helter skelter and you're looking back down the length of the pier towards the shoreline and the angle just didn't look uh, very nice on the back of the, of the screen. So uh, I'm now walking back along this um, harbour arm, uh, trying to get back to the other, the other side and find a composition from that side, um, hoping I can find something before the sun sets. Um, I should do, There's plenty of time, probably still got 45 minutes or so. Um, but we'll have a look, see what we can find. It's been a while since I've been out, so uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's nice just to get back out again with the camera. Um, it's been a few weeks, I don't know what it's like, life gets in the way, but I uh, found some time this evening and uh, thought I'd come down to Herne Bay. Well, I've actually come down onto the, the beach itself now, um, looking back towards the pier, and I've got the tripod quite low to the, to the sand. Um, I'm using a six stop ND filter, a three stop soft grad and a circular polarizer. Uh, it's given me ISO 100 F11 for 1.3 seconds. On the back of the camera, it doesn't look too bad, but you never know till you get back home on the PC. Uh, if the image is any good, I'll pop it up on the screen for you now. I've actually moved uh, slightly closer to the pier now itself. Um, got the camera set just on the first leg extension, uh, just so as the sand is not getting anywhere near any of the locking mechanisms. Mechanisms, that's easier said than done. Um, yeah, it's not a bad shot. Unfortunately, there is a load of cloud on the horizon again, um, but it's a lovely, location and I think it's one I'm definitely going to have to return to uh, and hope to get some, some better conditions. Um, but this image is ISO 100 um, F11 for 10 seconds and that was with the circular polarizer, the Lee Little Stopper, the six stop and a three stop soft grad and I'll put it up on the screen for you now. Well, the sun has officially set and unfortunately we never really got uh, a nice sunset. There was a few clouds, but unfortunately there was an even bigger bank of cloud on the horizon, which kind of snubbed out any potential color that we could have had. Um, we might get a little bit of a blue hour shot and it does look like the pier is starting to light up. So what I might do is um, hang around for a little while and see if we can get any evening shots with some uh, some of the lights all illuminated but before I lose the, uh, the light completely uh, thanks very much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and one or two of the images if you did give us a thumbs up uh, if you're new consider subscribing uh, leave a comment always enjoy reading the comments and uh, replying to them I try and reply to as many uh, comments as I can but yeah thanks very much again it is certainly a, a location I'm going to return to try and get some uh, some better conditions but for now thanks very much take care and uh, see you soon